Hello everybody, this is Uncle Mars 5 Welcome back to Eagles MC3. So this is another episode of my 5 to 10 minute tutorials. Today I'm going to be covering command blocks. So, um, I'll cover command blocks and basic commands that you can do yourself without a command block. Um, command blocks are just separate entities that can execute commands and save commands. Players, if you click the slash symbol, looks like that on your keyboard. Let's up this, and then these are all the different commands you can do. So, we will cover some of them. Some of them aren't too important, but I might go over them anyways, if this video is short enough. Okay. So I just gave myself a command block that I can place and uh, put a command into. So let's look at the command that gave me a command block. So it's the slash give command. So it's slash give if you do it yourself or if you're in a command block, which for that's this video, what I'm talking about is in command blocks. So it's give AP, which is nearest player, command block, and then you can do one or all the way up to 64 if you need 64 command blocks. Um, so these in a command block are the block type, impulse, chain, and repeat. We will cover them later. Conditional, we and uh, unconditional, we will cover those as well. But need redstone or always active. If it's always active, um, it will give you the item regardless of whether or not it's powered. But once it gives you the, the effect or the item or whatever it is, it won't do it again unless it's a repeat command. So we want that like that. So previous output gave command block. 1 to Uncloud Mars 05. So now on to effects. So I just gave my sp <laughs> can't talk. I gave myself speed 10 for 10 seconds. If you click Z, you can see your effects. Okay, so this one you do slash effect or in a command block effect. Nearest player, speed is the effect you're being given. There's a whole list of them. And then 10 seconds, and then 10 times the basic power. When you're typing the stuff up, we'll use effect. If you click tab, it'll continue filling it. So then all players or whatever you want. And then these are the different powers you can get. And then let's say we want strength for 10 seconds. And you can have it anywhere from... 1 to 255, and then you can choose whether or not you want uh, particles. Let's try balls. Oh, I still see the particles on me though. So we have to set it to true. Ah, wrong one. True. So yeah, now I do not have. The particle effects, people don't know that I have the power. And then when I punch people, it does crazy stuff. So now, on to super speed, which is the maximum type of speed. This is how fast I go. I'm going to lose my command blocks if I run around too much. So yeah, very fast and very fun, but you will get lost. So game mode. So right now I'm in creative. I changed my game mode to survival, then back to creative again. So this one is game mode, zero, zero is survival, one is creative, and then two is uh, adventure mode. And then all, or closest player, same here, but one, so it turns me to creative. Set block, so watch out over there, places a diamond block. It's set block, and then the approximation symbol is relative to where it's... Um, when you have a command block or a player, uh, everything is set up on an X and Y grid, so that would be X, and this would be Y, and then up and down is Z. So the first one, I believe, is... Y, on Minecraft, Y and X might be swapped, I'm not sure. Um, so it is in line with the command block placing it, 
so that's why it's in front of us. It's at the same height, which is the Z, and then X is 10, so it's 10 blocks farther that way. Um, so yeah, it might be backwards, the X and Y might be switched. So it will place a block there. If you don't quite understand it, be sure to ask questions down in the comments below, and I will cover those. So a slash fill command is about the same, except instead of having three sets of numbers, there is six. The first one is the bottom corner, uh, the bottom closest corner, and then the top one is the far right corner. And then it will place a diamond block there. So that's three blocks wide. The first set of numbers is this block. It's one block over. And then it's at the same height, and then it's 10 blocks forward. The second number is this block. It's one block farther this way. It's up two blocks, so that's the base. One block, two blocks. And then it's over 12 blocks, because 10, 11, and 12. So you can fill area. You can do the same with air or any block you want. So time, we're going to change the time to night. Okay, this one we're going to cover chain commands. So, looks like game mode to adventure. We'll also cover slash titles as well. Slash game mode one. You can do one or you can do C. So the first command block says program started right there. The second one is a title. All players and then subtitle set to adventure. You have to have the subtitle before you have the normal title, otherwise, the subtitle won't set up or uh, won't show up. So then, title, all players, or closest player, title, and then game mode, and then sets my game mode. Okay, so let's run that again. So it says set to adventure, that's the subtitle, and then game mode is the title. So, with these chain command blocks, you can set it to chain, then you have to set it to always active, and then you can choose conditional or unconditional. For this, it doesn't matter. But then, if you see the arrows on the command blocks, they point towards the next block in the chain. So I could place one here, and here, and here, and it would power all of them. Because the command goes through here, into that one, over to this one, and then out that way. So you can create a humongous chain of commands without having to use any redstone dust connecting them, and have it instantaneous. So this is a repeating command block. You set it to repeat, and then if you don't need redstone, it will do it infinitely, and it's very hard to stop, especially if you're summoning mobs. So then... This is a very complicated command. It's the execute closest player, set block, relative coordinates, one block below the player, to a diamond block. So that one's very complicated, and most people don't need to use that very often. But now, it affects the nearest player, which is me, and it sets the block one block below me to diamonds using the set block command. So you can make awesome floors and stuff. You can also have like all sorts of creatures. You can have pigs set diamond blocks or a creeper place TNT blocks underneath it, which would be very dangerous, and I've done that before. It's really fun, but um, make sure not to do it near your house, because your house will get destroyed. So then we can just turn that off. We aren't affected anymore, and we have a big pile of diamonds there. So this is a radius test. So we test for the nearest player. Actually, we're going to want it to be uh, test for all players within a radius of two blocks. So from over here, it doesn't test me because I'm more than two blocks away. If I'm right here, however, and I click the button, as long as the button is pressed in, it's testing for a player within a radius of two blocks, so two blocks in any direction. You can change it to other sides too. But these brackets here, um, 
these signify some sort of variable. So if we got rid of um, the brackets, two equals r and stuff, where it says test for all players, it would test for players everywhere in the world, and that'd get kind of laggy if you have a lot of people or if you're playing on a server or something. Um, but hopefully you don't have a command block on a server, because that's cheating. And then this one, slash say player found. So this is quite helpful. You can also do slash, hmm, what could we do? Right, let's place some items. Let's place, where's mobs at? Let's get some creepers, some chickens, and a villager. We're also going to need a stack of dirt. Okay, so if we place some creepers around, place some chickens, place some villagers, and then throw some dirt items down, and then slash... Oh no, we don't want some, we want teleport. All entities, which counts items and mobs that are a type equals... Let's start out with chicken. Then add a bracket there. Too many targets match selector. All entities type chicken. I don't know why that isn't working. Let's try it with creepers. Creeper. Why is it doing that? Normal doesn't say that. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. All um, items. There's no items. Let's try that. No targets. Match selector. Oh, it was teleporting me to them, not them to me. To Uncolored Mars 05. So now. <laughs> Maybe I should pay closer attention to my thing. So now it teleports them all to me. Let's try it with the creeper one. Or actually, we can do chickens. Then uncode Mars 05. So it teleported all the chickens to me. Where is creepers at? Uncode Mars 05. So there, it summoned all the creepers to me. So that uses a variable. Like, there's type, there's radius, there's count, so it'll do the first, um, C equals, actually, no, we are going to want, um, type equals creeper, but then before the bracket, we want that, and then count equals two, so it'll only teleport two to me, rather than all of them. And then, ah, wrong one. Uh, make sure to test out some of the other ones. Because there is all sorts of different variable types. I don't think I've ever used them all or tried them all. But thank you all for watching this. And if you ever get stuck on uh, using command blocks or commands, if there's something specific you're trying to do, be sure to let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. So thank you all for watching, if you haven't subscribed be sure to do that, and leave some likes down below and some comments so I know to keep doing these videos, and we will see you all next time everybody, bye!